Hi, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the journey of how I built this fully functional calculator in Excel using the Visual Basic for Application. This video will be in two parts. In part one, we're going to see how to design this user interface in the VDA development area and in part two, I'm going to work you through the codes that enable this calculator to really work. Now this calculator was built more than three years ago and I feel that I should share with the knowledge with you so that if you want to probably do the same thing, you can achieve the same results. In the light of this, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Now I said fully functional, is it true? Let's verify. Now you can do array of mathematical operations. For example, you can do multiplication. And let's see that. Let's want to multiply 7 by 7. And we eat the equal sign that gave us 49. And this is displayed in our text box. So when I click on this C, it clears the content. You can even do addition. So it will be 5 plus 5. Of course, it's going to give us 10. And of course, you can do subtraction and division. Now, let's proceed without much ado in how to develop this in the VB development area. See you. We have a blank Excel workbook. So what I'm going to do is to proceed to the Visual Basic for Application Editor by deploying Alt F11 on my keyboard. So when I do that, it opens the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications. So I click on this Insert and I just insert a user form. So we have our user form 1 and the toolbox and we have all our controls. So let's just make some little adjustments. Okay. Now, in no particular order, what I'm going to do first in here is to grab a label from our controls. So this is our label. I'm just going to put one here. Now, in the label, what do I want? I want Excel Jet Calculator. So I come to the um, caption. And I just type what I want in there. So, jet result calculator. All right, and I hit enter. So we have it ready. Next, I'm going to click on this font, and I want to make it to be bold. And let's use 16 size. And I click on OK. And next, I want to text align. So I click on this text alignment, and we want the center. And then I can actually adjust this. Cool. For my user form, I'm going to rename it calculator. So just come to uh, caption here. Let me just use calculator. And I hit enter. Next, we need the text box. So I click on this. And I just grab a single placeholder. Okay. Now the text box will display all our results. Now we need all our command buttons. So this is our command button. Show. I just grab one and fix that one and do the rest. Okay. All right. So what I want in the command as command button as the caption. I just want um, C. Okay. And then we want to apply bold. And let's use size 15. And I click OK. So I don't to redo all this. Just du duplicate this. Hold down the control key by left click. And I just drag. So this is one, and I can do the same thing again, okay, and again. Now you can always adjust your size. Just do one more, okay? All right, like this, and let's grab one more. Okay, all right. Let's move them closer to each other, and you can even adjust this. So you have the flexibility of doing your adjustment the way you want it. Okay, I think that's fine. Oops. All right. Now let's see what the buttons we need. So we actually need all these buttons also. So let me just grab all this. Let me just drag, and duplicate, and again I do the same thing. Duplicate and let's see how many layers we need one, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, so I need one more. Okay. One more layer. And finally, the last one here. Okay. okay, cool. So we can now go ahead and fix in all these. So for here, we have um, the aesthetic sign for the multiplication. And for this, we have the division plus and here. Subtraction as a caption. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of some couple of buttons here. Okay, I need only uh, one here. Okay, let me just get rid of this and this. Okay, I think I have quite so many here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to just adjust this to fit nicely and on top of this here and this one will be the B button. Okay, so let's see our numbers. So we have 0, 1, 2, 9. So this is going to be 0 and this is going to be 1. So now I'm gonna speed this up and see you in a moment. I've tidied up all the old command buttons and then we can apply the back color of choice that we want. So to apply back colors, just you know, grab our user form and let's come to this our properties. And in properties we have the back color click on this. And now we want a palette. So I click on this palette and I want a more pronounced palette color. And you can actually see that looking cool. Then for my command buttons, I'm going to grab all of them by holding up my shift key and I select all of them. And we want a palette color, just a light one. And then over here, we want the same color as that of our user form pronounced color. Alright, so this is actually the design, the user interface of our calculator. So when I click on this run button, and then we can actually see our calculator looking nice. So this is the user interface of the calculator that I shown you earlier. Okay, something like this, and then the code will perform the magic. So I'm gonna see you in the next video how to do the coding. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give some like and comment in the screen below. And of course, you can even share this video. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.